Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, a moment to stop in our busy lives and listen to God. First, let me read from the Bible. Philippians chapter 3, verses 17 and 18. Dear brothers and sisters, pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example. For I have told you often before, and I say it again with tears in my eyes, that there are many whose conduct shows that they're really enemies of the cross of Christ. Paul doesn't pull his punches, does he? He tells it like it is. He declares that some people are enemies of Christ. This is very harsh language, but he knows that it's essential for the Philippian Christians to know the difference between those who are true followers of Christ and those who are fighting against him. What they needed was a clear example of what it meant to be a follower of Jesus. And Paul says that he himself was the person they should be following. I don't interpret this as arrogance, but as a matter of necessity. The Christians, most of whom would have been very young in their faith, needed to have a clear example of what it meant to live for Christ in everyday life. As Paul wrote this, he was in prison, so he invited them to pattern their lives on those who had followed his example. This all begs the question of where Paul got his example from, And in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, he explains that his life was based on following Christ. It's good to follow the example of other Christians. I know that my Christian life has been massively affected by the example that's been set for me by Christians that I've known. I was given the example of carefulness from Peter, gentleness from Frank, graciousness from Victor, faithfulness from David, cheerfulness from Fred, courage from Tim, and so on. I wonder who's inspired you, and I encourage you to keep actively remembering and thanking God for their example. But this works in the other direction as well. People are looking at you and me, whether we like it or not. We too are setting an example of what it means to follow Jesus, and we need to make sure that it's a good one. Let me pray with you. Thank you, Lord, for the people who've shown us what it means to follow you. Help us to set a good example for others. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier.